Ooh, the kinetic typography on the screen was really nice there. Ooh, look at the wide angle lens here. Amazing shot selection. Really good. <laughs> that was awesome! A new MiHoYo game to cover. This is a special day, and I'm very excited to share this with you guys. Zenless Zone Zero. A game that I've heard much about, but we have our first character demo. We've covered so many character demos from Genshin Impact, Honkai on this channel. So I'm really excited to hop into this and see uh, the sort of different flavor that this game has to offer and the visual identity that it establishes. If you've been enjoying our time together, please consider checking out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel, including our ongoing World of Warcraft cinematic journey. All right, I know this is a new game, but Lore Masters, huh? join me. The sun's up already? Yeah. Okay. Did you sleep well? <sighs> I wouldn't say so. Cool start. Work's been a bit much recently. You work so hard. I hope today is a little slower. Very different voices. Yo, yo, yo! Oh. Good morning, ladies! This is so Tarantino. Come Love it. On, Starlight. Nice transformation! Hey! Hurry up, Billy! Just get your guns and let's get this over with! Oh, okay! Uh, I'm he's, coming! He's making a production No time for a transformation again. Never mind! Bad guys are waiting for a beating! Let's go! Awesome character. Ooh! Let's go! Really man. nice shot. Up the starry sky. So give me a gas, I will let you gas. Ooh! Let's play a little game. Watch really out. cool shot selection here. And there was that manga effect. I like the, <laughs> the butt shot. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Really stylish. Really nice. Ooh, the kinetic typography on the screen was really nice there. Ooh. Yeah, there's some real sauce in here. I like what I'm seeing. A lot of fantastic editing. The music is fresh. It's punchy. A little humor here. I love it. The, the guns have voices. Ooh, look at the wide angle lens here. Amazing shot selection. Really good. <laughs> that was awesome! Did you Round see two. that? The choreography, the visual choreography to that. Oh, we got a lot to talk about here. Wow. Yeah. This is fresh. Oh, this is a new character. Oh, that was a great shot to the rotation. There's a lot of technicality going on here. Ooh. Billy Kidd. That wasn't so bad. Gentle House, Billy Kidd, the gunslinger. I love it. I love it. That was beautiful. Oh, I don't think it's over. Hold on. Yo, 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 ladies. Good job today, as always. As a reward for your hard work. There's that Tarantino shot again. Let me look for it. Did you hear? We're getting some gun oil. They talk. Hope it's the thick, rejuvenating one. I'd rather get the lighter oil. It absorbs faster. Look, it's a collab between Three Gates Military Tech and Starlight Knight. Buy four, get one free. He's a nerd. Game of an I love it. Exclusive poster. The cheap stuff. <laughs> the cheap Come stuff. Self-care time. Feeling relaxed. <sighs> if only you could speak. They can speak. That's hysterical. I really like the humor. I like how it's a little bit different form of lighthearted than Genshin. He spent all his money on the comic. They ain't getting the expensive stuff today. I love it. It's so cool. Like it has like a Toy Story feel to it. Like it's his toys talking, and then it's really cool. Anyways, if you guys have been enjoying our time together, please make sure to subscribe and uh, hop in our Discord. We have a MiHoYo section dedicated to talking about Genshin, Honkai, and this, and all kinds of great stuff. We have World of Warcraft stuff. Uh, I now have memberships on the YouTube, which we're really excited about, and I have uh, private rooms for the members different tiers and stuff on Discord. A lot, a lot of fun perks if you haven't got a chance to click join and uh, see what they're all about. Anyways, this is really fun. I'm loving what I see here. There's a lot to talk about, so let's just let's just scrub through it and uh, and take a look. Mostly, it's the choreography of the camera. Uh, very, very, very well done. We're gonna skip to the, to the visual stuff here. Uh, this reminded me of Tarantino. It's a famous trunk shot. Everybody knows it. It's nothing, you know, nothing crazy to talk about, but there's a shot where oftentimes his characters are, you know, looking down into the trunk with, uh, from a dead body's perspective <laughs> or characters in the trunk. Uh, but kind of reminded me of that. I think it's really fun. Oh, that's Starlight. Nice transformation. Hey, hurry up, Billy. Yeah. Just get your guns and let's this get great. this over with. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm... 
He's 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 a guy who loves production, and this character is very interesting to me. Um, though it's though it's lighthearted, it does give us a lens into what kind of guy this is. Um, is he an android? Because look at his body, look at his hands, look at his stomach. He has like computer screen for a face. You're waiting for a beating. Let's go. Really curious. Does this have like sort of a cyberpunk feel where people are modified, or is this guy just a like complete robot? You know? <laughs> android. <laughs> So yeah, this is where the shots start to get really cool. There's some interesting stuff that happens though in the editing. Um, and they put a lot of time into this. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Yeah, even that, just a really cool kinetic shot. What we have here is we have movement of the subject motivating camera movement. That's something I talk about a lot in Genshin. Genshin's very, very good at this as well. Um, and we're gonna go through it frame by frame. What happens is we're following this up. And look at that beautiful wide angle choice there. Um, as you can see, his arm seems very stretched because it's a wider angle. Awesome choice. And then very satisfying click up there. You got the sound design crunching in there too. So be my gas, I will let you Give that little ding and stuff. Very nice uh, sound. Yeah, that's what I want to talk about. So there's this cool effect that happens here. Look at this. It's almost like manga lines, and this is a plethora of butt shots here, which I think is pretty funny for like an android guy. But look at this, see? Isn't that so cool? We have this like posterization happening, but it also has like, of course, like manga lines, um, which of course is, you know, appropriate and to, to reference in this case. And we have the manga lines on the side, the emphasis lines and everything. So I think, I think it's really cool. There's a couple more shots like that. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. I think it's so funny to focus on him like this. Like, what? Um, there's those manga lines again for emphasis. Hilarious. <laughs> but I'm kind of curious what this guy's role is, because we don't really see any of the other characters in this. I'm very new to uh, to Zone Zero, so I'm, I'm kind of just jumping in, and I have a lot of questions about the characters and how his uh, sort of ward his place is within the cast. But I think it's great. Oh, even that. Really clean shot. Look at this. Yeah. Really nicely executed. Goes right up to the barrel. And there's a lot of this kind of recurring visual theme of us going into the barrel, almost like we come out of it in the beginning. You know? Now, I have a question for the for the MiHoYo fans. Is this uh, turn-based or is this more like Genshin? Because uh, Star Rail is turn-based, right? I actually, considering trying Star Rail on stream, I think that'd be really fun. Um, so let me know if you guys would want to see that because uh, I, I am a fan of you know old school turn based stuff like all the original Final Fantasies and everything. Yeah, even that just nice, nice sort of crunchiness to the editing. And we have a lot of speed ramping, what we call it in editing. Check this out. So what happens is he uh, the shells hit the ground. Oh, such a clean shot. Again, more of that movement of uh, the camera motivated by the subject. I love to see that. Yeah, but look at this. So I like how we have the speed ramp here. The uh, the shell hits the ground. Bing! We get this awesome visual effect. You know, this is not, I assume, in engine. I, I could be wrong. It seems to be drawn in these little uh, effects, affectations, and lines and stuff. It's really cool. And then we have a visual cue that signifies we've gone in slow motion. Look what happens to the exposure. It's kind of like a desaturation. Yeah, we have a desaturation of the background. And there's also a, like a, it's like a manga screen that's been applied. Do you see that? There's these tiny little, look at this. Do you see these tiny little dots? That's what you're using a manga screen. Artists actually cut these out with, uh, with blades and you, you stick them on your, your subject to, to achieve shading. So some really cool kind of referential stuff to manga, which I love. And we have the desaturation of the background into this monochrome, black and white, as they say. And what a cool effect. What it does is it makes that shell really pop, not only because of the purple and orange, beautiful, beautiful color harmonies taking place here, right? So like, what, what a, it's like a one second shot, man. That's, it takes a lot of work to work on all that. Very well done. Um, another clean shot, man. You know, has anyone ever seen Helsing? Has anyone ever seen that? Because look at this. This shot right here to me is so uh, Alucard. And not, not Alucard from Castlevania, who's actually my preferred Alucard, but Alucard from Helsing. 
the red coat, uh, the huge gun like that, this wide angle lens, beautiful, beautiful wide. I would say maybe even like a, maybe like a 20 millimeter wide angle lens right there. But this is where stuff gets really fancy. So he shoots and then look at this. We get the kinetic typography is what we call this. And does it say fair fight? <laughs> it's so funny. I love the tongue in cheek of this. I think it's super, super fun. You know, it's super like stylish. Uh, almost in the realm of like a Cowboy Bebop too, if we talk about awesome animation projects. Fair fight and it just goes off. And you know, typography is, it's, it's a lot of work, man. It's not easy, especially because we're looking at, um, it's not just, ooh, another clean shot there. It's not just like, you know, making the stuff fly across the screen and implementing perspective into it. So it actually works within the scene, right? Perspective is clean there, but also we have to apply masks as we call them in editing to the subject here to allow it to kind of like pass through him. I mean, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I almost like, I have questions that I wish I could talk to the animators about. Like, is this a 3D object in the engine that they like made fly by with fair fight on it? Or is this something they did with like masking and editing and post-production? Super interested to know if I doubt anyone uh, would be able to tell me, uh, but that would be cool to know. That's a great shot too. Uh, I like that we go for a wider uh, sort of establishing the space shot here because a lot of it has been nice and tight um, in a good way. It's worked, it's worked very well, but really nice shot here. He does this uh, this move and it's cool because we actually start behind this enemy and then he does this awesome kind of knee spin yeah, so satisfying. And we end up coming really high into the screen. Then, then we go intimate right again. After that. Now there was more typography. This is fair fight again. Awesome. Ooh, ooh. And that's that says that's a star flight, I believe. Oh man, look at that. More more monochrome. Really tight editing here, man. Down down to the frames. It says bang. It says bullseye. Guys, this is this is literally one frame stuff. Very hard to catch when watching. Look at that. Bullseye is there for pretty much one frame. It's like obscured on that other frame. This is incredible. This is an incredible amount of work. Wow. Woo! Oh, that was good. That was really good. Let's go back. And it says click. I didn't even catch some of these. This is what I always talk about with Genshin. So you might ask like, why would they make these one frame things that take a lot of work and everything? Honestly, it's because these videos are not designed to be seen in game. These videos are made for YouTube. These videos are made for us enthusiasts and us fans to watch and, and listen to the music. It's also a music video and loop on repeat. And you know, you watch it several times, you end up catching some really cool stuff. And look at this. Awesome shot. We actually gone from his perspective now, as if he's looking. Twirling the guns. Really cool choice there. By the director. Ooh, we got a little we got a little clipping there. His hands going through the gun a little bit, that's fine. <laughs> to be expected. And then this shot it goes this look at that. So what's happening here is we're both pulling out the camera a little bit, but we're we're cranking out on the field of view. And we've gone to a focal length of, oh man, this might even be like 15 millimeters. This is a really wide angle. And it's beautiful. Look at this. And there's a great, uh, there's a term in sculpting and painting called contrapposto. And the subject here has contrapposto. Uh, what it means is, essentially means the curve of the spine is being used here. See this beautiful S curve of the spine? It's just a beautiful thing. You'll see contrapposto and all the famous sculptures, uh, specifically of the high classical period in ancient Greece. Um, you'll see some really good stuff from Polykleitos in that period, um, like the Diadumenos and uh, some other famous pieces, just oh, beautiful, beautiful poses. So I've taken a page, of course, from the greats here, and it's just a great, beautiful image. Oh. Oh. I think this is very funny. So we have personification of the guns, and this is like a, this is like a anime, you know, embarrassed uh, thing on the guy. I think it's hilarious. I think it's great. Hmm. Now, this is where stuff gets crazy. I've taken so much time going through the other stuff. 
This part is ridiculous. What's about to happen? I love that we get the respite there. I love uh, respite in two senses. The music has cut. It's like, oh, okay, I was feeling really stylish. We were cooking these guys. Now, what do I do? We're surrounded by people and I have no bullets. So what he does is he starts to crank the stuff. We hear the beautiful shells falling, the sound, sound effects are great. And then there's that little pause. And now he's going to go bananas, right? Ah, piece of cake. Reloading complete. Round two. Man, that I just wanted to watch it through. That sequence is so clean. It has a Guy Ritchie feel to it. You guys know Guy Ritchie? Uh, he did the Sherlock Holmes films, uh, Lock, Stop, and Two Smoking Barrels, uh, Snatch, probably one of my favorite Guy Ritchie films. Really cool, uh, sort of sort of quick, punchy edits, uh, showing the passage of time, usually more so. But in this case, we have this kind of cool preparation. Reloading complete. Round two. Ooh. Oh, it was good. It was really good. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the coolest part for me is that it's a little bit different than Guy Ritchie because this is one shot. Kind of. Let's see. Is it one shot? <laughs> so he's going to pop. Let's watch it through. He's going to pop open the, the shells. And then he catches them. I mean, how cool is that, man? How cool is that? And impressive animation. It's very precise. Look at that. He whips that thing across. Like, look at, look at the motion lines on that. Look at the blur. So I love that we're going from, like, perfect clarity to blurred. This is really, really well done to achieve the sense of motion visually. And then he ends up uh, going in for that close-up. And this is, look at, look at the text again. This is one shot, guys. Incredibly impressive wonder, as we call it. And it says what? Taka! Like that onomatopoeia. Taka! Love it. So cool, man. And then we get that nice, satisfying, good amount of frames here. It's quite it's quite a generous amount of frame. Now we finally cut. We finally cut in the shot. And look at that motion, but they put a lot of work into this one, man. I would say, man. Maybe even more so than the Genshin ones. Well, some of the Genshin ones. Some of the Genshin ones are ridiculously high level. Um, so it does, I don't think it surpasses like the top Genshin ones, but this is this is amazing. Reloading complete. Round two. And then it's cool because it shows these guys weren't sitting idly by; they were actually attacking him. He just did that so fast. And now he's going crazy. Yeah. There's that fair fight again. So I really wonder if these kind of graphics and stuff are going to be in the game, the fair fight. So maybe, maybe I was, maybe I was wrong. It's not something done in editing. It is in game. Either way, it's awesome. So my question is, who is this? Obviously an ally. Just great, man. Job done. That wasn't so bad. Gentle house, Billy Kid. I love it, man. That ending section is just, it's cool because it combines everything that we talked about. Uh, the wide angles, the amazing kinetic camera movement, the typography, the choreography, everything's coming together. Boom. And it just like delivers. It's fantastic. And then we have the joke at the end. I mean, I think it's great. I think this character is awesome. I think uh, I'm very curious about this game. It has like sort of a cyberpunk with a little bit less uh, depression <laughs> and more uh, more fun to it. Super fascinating. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If anyone's tried it, I don't even know if it's out yet. Let me know if anyone's tried it, if it's out. And maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it on stream sometime. But thank you everybody for watching. This was a very fun one to cover. Um, like I said, you know, hop in our Discord. If you're new, we'd love to have you. Uh, check out the membership options. We've got some really fun stuff. Uh, and in fact, the top membership option, you can actually choose the videos I react to. So if that's attractive to you, check it out. And uh, you guys are the best. I'll talk to you next time. Our next live stream is coming very soon to continue covering World of Warcraft. I'll see you guys then.